Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print table of 5. So before we jump into the program, so let's find out what is the output required in this program. So we have to print table of 5. That means we have to print the 10 number with multiple of 5 into 1, 5 into 2, 5 into 3, 5 into 4 till 5 into 10. Perfect. So there is a one approach. I can just write down the system.out.println. So 5 into 1. Second time I can write down the system.out.println 5 into 2. And I can just write down this statement for the 10 times, right? So this will give you the table of 5. So 5 into 1, 5 into 2, 5 into 3 till 5 into 10, right? Perfect. So if I'll run this program, this will give you the numbers from 5 to 50, right? So this is the table of 5. But this is not a feasible program, right? We have to use the for loop because we don't have to duplicate the code. So you can see here we are duplicating this system.out.println. So we have to use the for loop to avoid the code duplication. So here, first of all, you have to understand what is the constant in this program. So you can see system.out.println and phi. So these are the constant, right? So I will remove all the statement and this is my constant. Multiplication sign is also constant, but this number is changing, right? This number is actually changing and this number is going from 1 to 10. So let's take one for loop from 1 to 10. So I'll just take one for loop to generate the number from 1 to 10. And we know that how to generate the number from 1 to 10 using for loop. So let's take 4 integer i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus. And if I try to print the number i, this will print 10 numbers. So let me just comment this. I'll try to run this program and this will print 10 numbers. Perfect. So now we are getting the 10 numbers. So now instead of printing the 10 numbers, I can just apply this statement. And instead of 1, I can just multiply 5 with the i. Okay. So each time we are multiplying the 5 with the i. Okay, now if I will run this program, it will give you the table of any given number, right? Currently it is giving you the table of 5, but if you take one integer, let's say integer number, and if you try to store your given number into this number, let's say 5. Now, instead of 5, you can just multiply i with the number. After that, you can change any number like 10, 6, and you will get the table of the given number. So let me just try to run this program. Still, it will give you the table of phi. Now let's try to understand the execution of the program. So first of all, we have a variable i and we are starting from 1. Okay. And we will see what will be the output. So whenever in the first iteration, we are starting i value from 1, it will check the condition 1 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. 1 is less than or equal to 10, right? So it will print number which is phi, phi into 1. It's a phi. So it will give you the phi into the output, right? Again, it will do i plus plus. So i is now 2. It will check the condition 2 less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Then it will print phi into 2, which is 10. So it will print 10 into the output, right? Again, it will do i plus plus. So i is now 3. It will check the condition 3 less than or equal to 10. Yes, then it will print phi into 3. It's a 15. So 15 will be in the output. Again, i plus plus. So i is now 4. So 4 less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Then 5 into 4, which is 20. So in the output, you will get 20. So similarly, it will go uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? And you will get the output 45. Now, again, it will do I plus plus. It's a 10 now. And it will check the condition 10 less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is still true. 10 is less than or equal to 10. So it will print 5 into 10, which is 50. So you will get the output 50. Okay. Now again, I plus plus. So I is now 11. Okay. Again, it will check the condition. 11 is less than or equal to 10. No condition is false. Now it will come out of the for loop and it will exit the program because we don't have any statement after the for loop. And finally, your output will be 5 to 50. Perfect. So we have sold the program to print table of the given number. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. 
थैंक्स एवरीवन एंड विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो